Hello, and welcome to the January monthly update for Utilico Emerging Markets. I'm John Grucock, Deputy Portfolio Manager. This month, UEM's NAV total return eased by 0.5%. This was better than the MSCI Emerging Markets Index, which fell by 4.3% in sterling terms. Since end March 2023, UEM's NAV is up 9.1%, significantly ahead of the MSCI, which is down 2.2% over this period. Global stock markets were mixed in January, with the continued downward trend in inflation resulting in more central banks cutting rates. In emerging markets, we saw the India Sensex hit an all-time high during the month, though profit-taking saw the end of the month slightly down. The Brazil Bovespa started 2024 at its all-time high, and similar profit-taking meant it retraced 4.8% over the month. China, well, that was once more the laggard, starting the month off badly with the bankruptcy of a major wealth manager, and the Hang Seng Index plunged by 9.2% over the month. Meanwhile, in currency markets, sterling appreciated against most EM currencies. Within UM's portfolio, there were standout performances from GSPL and Power Grid India, whose shares were up by 19.8% and 9.6% respectively. Both companies' share prices hit all-time highs this month, and UEM took advantage of this to trim its position GSPL by a third. In Brazil, Santos and Ocean Wilson's bucked the trend to post share price growth of 7.6% and 10.8% respectively. Speculation is mounting that M&A activity in the port sector is imminent. It was also pleasing to see volume outlook improve substantially for Santos post the period end. UEM's Chinese investments were swept up with the broader market malaise. Citic Telecom shares were particularly weak on additional concerns around renewal of its Macau telephony concession. However, it was very pleasing for us to see some 6 million US dollars upstream to UEM from its unlisted investment in CGN Infra Fund 3. This saw UEM's unlisted exposure fall to 6.4% of the fund. With the discount remaining stubbornly high at 14.5%, UEM bought back another 1 million shares this month. This takes the total buyback affected since March 2023 to 8.8 million shares or 4.3% of the opening share capital. For more details, please do read UEM's January fact sheet.